Guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. So guys, we are literally seven days out from the big one. Seven days out. Uh, that video, I mean, sorry, not that video. The picture was circulated uh, of Canelo's ripped body. Um, one of my long-term subscribers, Naima Itsham says, Imran, stop being biased. Um, Caleb Plant's in great shape. Caleb Plant is looking fantastic as well. Um, but Canelo Alvarez, there's a mean, lean uh, machine, um, I believe, that he wants to do serious, serious damage. Uh, you know, there's there's been stuff said like, I want to break his jaw. I want to, you know, I want to knock him out. He's not on my level. Canelo's been rattled. He has been rattled by Caleb Plant a little bit. You know, Caleb Plant has come out firing. And you know what? It's funny because Caleb Plant's, I never, he never struck me as that type of guy. He never struck me as a guy that would take the press conference by the scuff of the neck. And, and maybe he wasn't intending to do that. But when that, that happened, when him and Canelo got, went back and forth, where they pushed each other or where Canelo pushed him and then they had that bit of brawl, can, maybe Caleb just lost, you know, Caleb thought, you know what, I'm going to go at him here. And, and they went back and forth. Uh, maybe Caleb had no intention for it to go off like that. But because of the of the push. And then obviously Canelo landed one and he got cut. Maybe Caleb thought, okay, I'm going to stick it on him here verbally. And he did. Uh, he did. Because maybe Caleb felt a little embarrassed after being cut. And maybe he thought Canelo, so he thought this was the way of of kind of winning back. Um, the initiative that a lot of people say, like, I don't really make much into it, uh, take much into like, you know, pushes and it doesn't mean anything, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but Canelo is looking great. Canelo is looking lean and so is Caleb Plant. Um, but I think, I think, I, per I personally think that, uh, Canelo Alvarez is the best fighter in the world. I don't believe Caleb is. So I'm I'm expecting fireworks from both guys, um, but I think the better guy, the better man, who is Canelo Alvarez, I expect him to get the job done and get the knockout. Uh, I don't think Caleb has the power to 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 hurt Canelo. I don't think Caleb has the power to really trouble Canelo uh, in that sense. So hence why I think uh, that's going to be his biggest downfall in the fight. I think not being able to hurt Canelo, I think that's a big problem, or 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 not getting any respect from Canelo, see, Golovkin wasn't really able to hurt, he was able to hurt Canelo, but he wasn't able to like wobble him or drop him or anything, but Golovkin had Canelo's respect, if Caleb Plant can get Canelo's respect, then that would also give him a better chance of winning, I don't believe he can, and I think there'll come a point in the fight where I don't think Can Canelo will really have respect for Caleb's power. Hence why he'll start walking him down. Um, and he'll start landing some mean shots. And that will slow Caleb down. And I believe Can then Canelo would stop him later on in the fight. That's how I see the fight playing out. If I'm totally honest with you. Um... I do think Canelo will be pushing for a knockout in this fight uh, just because of all of the things said and the heat and the, the back and forth between the two. I do think Canelo is going to be aggressive and he's going to be coming for that knockout. Um, I think it's a great fight. I'm just, I'm just really excited. I can't wait. You know, what I'm planning to do is hopefully we'll do some a lot of live streams next week. Um, and... We'll also be doing a lot of videos and a lot of build up videos. I'll be get you know what I'll do. I'll, I'll speak to a lot of people about it. I'll get a lot of you guys on camera. Get your predictions for the fight. Uh, I'm looking to do a lot of things next week. Hopefully, if I get time, um, let's get people's opinions. Let's let's break down the fight. Let's have a big fight build up. Um, I've been doing it for about two weeks now. Um, I can't wait. I, I can't wait. What? How do you see? How do you guys see it? I know I've, I've spoke spoke about it so much and I know you guys have given your opinion about it so much. Caleb Plant says he'll beat Canelo twice. Uh, he'll beat him now and in the rematch. Um, Caleb Plant's obviously very confident. Um, so is Canelo. 
um, and it's just it's going to be a humdinger. And it, there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, riding on this for both guys, uh, Caleb Plant has a chance to create history, uh, potentially put himself on the pound for pound list, and Canelo Alvarez wants, like I said, wants to be regarded as the greatest Mexican and one of the greatest fighters of all time. What I wanna, what I do want to bring up though, what I do want to bring up is one of my subscribers. I believe so. Let me address two issues. Smash the like button on this video. I forgot to ask. Hit the like button. Let's get this video to at least hundred likes. Um, but there was a Mexican fighter that I forgot yesterday to mention, Salvador Sanchez. And what a great fighter he was. People, some of you mentioned that he had a great defense. He had The problem is with Salvador Sanchez, we didn't really see a lot of Salvador uh, San, Sanchez, to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, Canelo's more accomplished. But yeah, what a fighter that guy, that guy was. He was special, Salvador Sanchez. He was an unbelievable talent. Um, and maybe he was better than Canelo, possibly. So, and a lot of you said that you believe Salvador Sanchez was the greatest Mexican. I just think when it's all said and done, I just think and with what Canelo's going to achieve now and what Canelo's going to go on to achieve before he retires, I just believe there'll be no argument because of the accomplishments he has um, in the game. Uh, I just don't think there'll be anyone. Uh, I just don't think there'll anyone be on his level. Um, and I think he will be regarded as the greatest Mexican fighter. That's what I believe. Uh, what I will say, though, what I will say is this. One of you said, uh, I can't remember who it was. You can probably go on the video and check. One of you said that I, you already believe that Canelo Alvarez is greater than Manny Pacquiao. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a big fan of Canelo Alvarez, as you guys know, but I'm also a massive fan of Manny Pacquiao. And there's no one, no one telling me. And one of you said, you also said that you believe Canelo would have beaten Manny Pacquiao days before. Well, it's irrelevant because Manny Pacquiao was so much smaller than Canelo. I don't quite understand. That doesn't mean... You know, he's great. That doesn't mean Canelo's greater. Now, I said that I had Manny Pacquiao in the top five greatest fighters of all time. And you said, and what, and, and the subscriber, I don't know if he's, you're a subscriber, but I think you, you may be. You're entitled to your opinion. You already said that Canelo is greater than Manny Pacquiao? No, 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 no. Manny Pacquiao is boxing's only eight division world champion. Manny Pacquiao was dismantling guys in his, like, I'm talking. Hall of Manny Pacquiao was dismantling Hall of Fame fighters. He was dispatch. I know, I know, Oscar De La Hoya was past his prime, but so was Kovalev, and Kovalev gave Canelo a very good fight. Uh, Manny Pacquiao dismantled Oscar De La Hoya. Look what Manny Pacquiao did to um, Timothy Bradley. Look at what he did to. Um, Migo Cotto. Look at what he did to Shane Mosley. Look at what he did to Antonio Margarito. Look at what he did to Ricky Hatton. You know, some of those names that I've mentioned are Hall of Fame fires. He absolutely destroyed them. You know, so I, I don't think I don't think you can uh, and I and I think Manny Pacquiao's resume is on another level to Canelo and, and that's you know Canelo's got the best resume in boxing, but to say Manny Pacquiao's not greater than Canelo Alvarez at this point. Maybe, if, listen, if Canelo goes on to achieve more great things, maybe goes on to unify 175, maybe goes on to win a cruiserweight title. But to say that he's greater than Manny Pacquiao, no, no, no. Manny Pacquiao went up to 147 and beat virtually the breaks off a lot of guys there. You know, he even beat Keith Thurman towards the back end of his career. Now, forget that was like the back end of his career. What about the wins that Manny had against Morales, Barrera, Marquez? How many Hall of Fame fighters has Manny Pacquiao beaten? And how many Hall of Fame fighters has Canelo beaten? It's not even close, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a massive Canelo fan. But to say that Canelo Alvarez is greater than Manny Pacquiao is, is delusional. It, it, I'm sorry. Because Canelo Alvarez, you can make you can make a say that maybe he's beaten what Golovkin is a Hall of Fame fighter, Kovalev possibly, but 
let's be honest, the resume of Canelo Alvarez doesn't come close. Morales, Barrera, um, Marquez, Cotto, De La Hoya, Mosley, Thurman. You know, we can go on and on. And there's probably names that I've, I've, I've forgot. Pacquiao has beaten so many great fighters. I don't think... And, and this is a Canelo fan speaking. I don't think you can say that Manny Pacquiao is not greater than Canelo Alvarez. I'm sorry. He's not, in my opinion. And that's just my honest opinion. But that's me uh, breaking it down. Maybe we can do a little debate about that. Uh, but I was I was a little surprised that you said that that you think that Canelo's at greater than Manny Pacquiao. I don't think so. I think Manny Pacquiao in his prime was probably one of the most destructive fighters I've ever seen. You know he was unbelievable. Like I don't think I've seen a fire like that. Honestly, uh, he was sensational in his prime. You know the way he was taking down it. Like he was a great fighter. Great great fighter. Um, I, I just I don't see it. I don't see it. No. No, 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 no. And this is coming from a a massive, massive a Canelo fan. I I, I don't think he, he's greater. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is probably a fighter that got me into the sport. Um and I just don't I I, I just don't see how you could say that. I don't see how anyone could think Canelo is at this point greater than Manny Pacquiao. Not in my opinion. Uh maybe some of you may think so. Uh, but I heard Manny Pacquiao is the greatest, one of the greatest fighters ever I've ever seen. Um, in his prime was just sensational. Uh, what a fighter! Um, and if some of you think Salvador Sanchez is greater than um, Canelo Alvarez, then with what Manny Pacquiao achieved in boxing, I just, I just don't see how anyone could say that. Pac, you know, Canelo's. Greater than Pacquiao. Not not, not in my opinion. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.